Alliances are forming, shortages coming, and the systematic disarming of Americans is running very strong. My name is Paul, and I am IPAC instructor. I'd like to take just a moment to thank our new thousand subscribers that we've gotten in just the last few weeks. We are getting the word out about overall preparedness and of course laws that are coming down the pipeline that infringe on a person's ability to protect themselves. And that's what we're gonna talk about here in this video. Of course, I always ask that you share it, uh, making others a know, and of course hit the subscribe button and ring that bell. So we have coming out of the ATFs Pistol brace ban essentially uh, will be made available tomorrow um, and they are going to publish on the Federal Register. Uh, essentially factoring criteria for firearms with attached stabilizing braces, that form will be officially available tomorrow, which starts the 120 day grace period for the registration of essentially everything that has been deemed an SBR. Listen guys, it's some serious stuff. Um, the clock is ticking and there are gonna be some serious decisions that you're gonna have to make for yourself and ultimately your family. But in other news, we have South Africans. The people are turning to generators, generators due to mass power cuts. The country is in a frenzy as their uh, overall ability to sustain themselves with power is ultimately crumbling. And we have, out of North Korea, Kim Jong-un's sister slams Washington's decisions to deliver Abrams tanks to Ukraine as a vile step, adding that her country will always stand with Russia. And we, of course, know that India is making strong alliances with Russia as the United States is attempting to step in and help them with their dependency on Russian uh, energy. But it appears that India is not interested one bit in our help at all. And of course, Rome, Rome, Italy is going to Libya looking for energy from the nation. Of course, it was just 10 years ago that NATO had bombed Libya, and it seems that Italy is now groveling to them for their energy needs. And coming back to the United States, we had the nation's third largest aid producer. Uh, their facility had caught fire and ultimately thousands of hens, egg laying hens, uh, are now dead. This is certainly going to exacerbate the current egg shortage that we're experiencing and as well drive up the price. Uh, I had spoken about this in our previous video. I told you guys, egg prices are going to continue to rise for quite some time. Although I find this very coincidental that the nation's third largest egg producer uh, is now in shambles. And this is certainly going to affect our pricing and availability of our eggs. And of course, more firearm um, laws coming out of New Mexico this time. Haven't talked about them in a while. Uh, <laughs> they're, uh, they're really pushing this guy out of, out of New Mexico. SB 171 is a bill that bans all possession of what's known as, now they're, they're changing the words yet again, and identifying assault pistols. No more assault pistols in the state of New Mexico. And SB 116 bans the possession and purchase of firearms for young adults between the ages of 18 and 21, those that can vote, those that can ultimately serve in our nation's military uh, cannot purchase, possess a firearm. HB 101 bans the possession, sale, manufacture, or transfer of assault weapons or standard capacity magazines. And of course, as well as HB 50 bans standard capacity magazines. And always there is an exemption for state agents. Of course there is, of course there is. One must be in control and it's not going to be the Second Amendment, but those that regulate it. My, my, my. I'd like to know what you guys think about some of these things in the comment section. As always, uh, hit the subscribe button, share this video, and I appreciate 
all the support. I think it's a great feat that we have reached a thousand subscribers in just a few short weeks um, and it's continuing to grow. I appreciate it. Let's keep up the good work. Let's get that news out there of what's going on in our world. Be prepared, carry a firearm, and as always, remain safe.